The wizard love spoon. Notice the dove is down sitting on his wand. First, I bandsawed out the outer perimeter, and now I'm going to show you how to set up these angled cuts on the table saw. You notice that they go two different directions. This is going to be a freehand cut, and the distance for the depth is going to be set up on the fence. The other end is going to be free-handed to a zero clearance. I'm using a stick to get the distance at the back of the block, and I'll pull the stick out later, and then I'll freehand it through the rest of the saw. And the blade is only coming about halfway up through that block. You can see here where I wanted it to come out. And now I've turned it around and I want it to cut on the other side. And I'm going to have it a little bit deeper. So I'm going to mark where I want it to come out. And that's where I'm going to put my stick to bring that blade out. And like any freehand cut, you can steer it just a little bit. You've got to be careful that it doesn't bind on the blade. And then just guide it on through, and you can make it come out pretty much where you want it to. Now I'm going to lay out where I want to cut that free, and I can do this with a knife. If it was hardwood, you'd have to saw it, which would be a lot more complicated. But this wood is just basswood, so I'm just going to scribe it down, break it off, turn it around, and I'll find my line so I can keep my blade going pretty much where I want it. This is just a rough out, so you're going to be carving into it later. And I'll a lot of times save the off fall as patterns. But in this case, I'm going to cut more pattern. I'm going to mark it here on where I want to cut so I can get it right up into the space that I've cut away. And basically, I'm just replacing the pattern that I cut off. So I'll have guidelines to start in with my stop cuts. Right here, I'm going to put three little hash marks so I can line that back up again. It's hard to see because it's going fast. I like to use a little white glue. I just spread it out and uh, it dries fast and it's less messy than spray on adhesives. Now I'm going to lay out the side view pattern for the ball in the dragon's claw. And I just do this with a pencil so I get an idea where to carve. And the claw is going to come up right in the center. I'm going to first draw the ball and then figure out where the claw is going to come up through the center. And, uh, around the outsides, front and back. Here's the center part. It's going to come up the outside and it's going to go down the inside. As you can see, I've already started or actually almost finished the claw and the ball on my original carving. I'm just laying out this block in case somebody else wants to carve it. You carve in the, the sides and around the bottom, that's the hardest part. And I scroll sawed the top from one direction. This is an intermediate to advanced carving and the rest of the carving and painting is up to the carver.
at his discretion. And here's the plan that I used to make this carving.